to be a Chelsea supporter. Of course, London is blue. Now these comes after they when they scored one nil against Man City. We are champions! We are champions! Now, if there's one person who's shining during this season, is the one and only N'Golo Kante. Now, a very humble, consistent man who grew up as a trash picker, trying to survive and take care of his family in the humble neighborhoods of Paris, France. Now, one of the best things I love about him, and a quote that I'm definitely digging from him, is what he said when he said, like everybody else, I get tired, but when I have to run, I try and run. Now, if you're looking for motivation, it has to be N'Golo Kante. You don't even have to be a football supporter to draw a lot of inspiration from him. Good job, Chelsea. Now, let me officially welcome you to the show, Hot Topic Central. We have so much to talk about. Literally, there's so much tea. So grab your cups, grab your popcorns, anything you need to do. Let's get the show on the road. My name is Vale Tangina. Time for tea. Are you ready? I have my cup. I'll be sipping. So let's start with story number one. Guys, like everybody else, I do not know what date we are on right now because apparently May was supposed to have 35 days. Father Lord, what shall we not hear in this year? Kanze Dena, the government spokesperson, decided to shock us with the new calendar. In case anyone is floating, take a look at this video. Ningependa kuwafahamisha ya kwamba Rais Uhuru Kenyatta katika siku kuu ya madaraka ambayo itaweza kufanywa hapa katika kaunti ya Kisumu atakuwa na mgeni rasmi. Na mgeni wake atakuwa ni Rais wa Burundi anayefahamika kama Rais Evariste Ndayishime ambaye ataingia hapa siku ya Jumatatu ambayo itakuwa ni tarehe 35 atakuwa hapa kwa ziara ya kikazi ya kiserikali ya siku mbili na atakuwa bila shaka maandamana na baadhi ya mawaziri Leave it to Kenyans to make a trend for a whole two days and create all manners of memes. I have been laughing on Twitter this past weekend. But guys, let's put it this way. All of us have days at work when we're completely off our axis and things just don't seem to make sense. Can we just allow Kanze Dena a break and assume that maybe this was that day at work where nothing was making sense by yo, whatever you people are using at State House. Ah, uh -uh. day 35, how? <laughs> Eco Kazi. Yeah, there's a new job in town. No, it's not about being a teacher, a doctor, a pilot, a front office representative. Uh, you know, return your CVs. It's not one of those. Now, this is the job. Now, the atheist community of Kenya has been looking for a secretary after Seth Matiga who was the one in charge of the position, decided to resign. Now, the reason why he resigned is because he finally found the light and he found Jesus and he is no longer fit for the position. Oh, yeah, so that, that's the job. But, turns out, it's a hot cake position because it's already occupied. Now, there's a new secretary to the atheist community in Kenya and she's a lady, Emma. Yeah, so there's no job anymore. Kuna kazi. It's occupied. On to the next story, Kristen Della. Now, if we were talking about Kristen Della in 2020, we would be talking about Club COVID. Oh Lord, the ratchetness, the ratchetness that was happening in Club COVID. Now, turns out, the CEO of Club COVID has political aspirations. He wants to be the next MP of Westlands. Now, he took to social media to address one of the things that he's very passionate about and what he really wants to work on. Um, he wants to work on the LGBTQ community. It's Pride Month, so actually his agenda came right on time. He feels it's about time their rights were respected and also legalized and constitutionalized, right? That was his idea. And uh, after that, he took to Twitter again to say how much he has received a lot of hate and bullying after him talking about what he wants to do for the LGBTQ community. He goes ahead to say that a very big percentage of Kenyans belong to this community and it's about time they were represented. So now apparently he's not sleeping because guys have decided to really give him a hard time. Yeah, so I really just want to know what you think about Extendella, vying for the position of the MP of Westland, 
and uh, also what you think about his agenda fighting for the LGBT community. Also, happy Pride Month to all the people in this community. All right, um, finally, the BET nominees are out. And of course, we are happy anytime an African is in that list because, I mean, we are shining all of us. And in the best international act, we have Diamond battling against the heavyweights of Wizkid and uh, a banner boy, African giant. And definitely, this is something so big. We're super proud. We cannot wait to see how this goes. So yeah, let's keep supporting Afrobeats and African music. Clearly, we are making a statement globally. Now, that's pretty much what your favorite celebs have been up to. We're taking a short commercial break. We'll be right back with so much more. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back if you're just joining us and um, you know right here at the Hot Topic Central we always put you on what's new, what's cool, what's hot, what's trending, who's doing what and today I have uh, someone who's actually very dope and you need to pay attention to. He is a Kenyan who relocated and went to the States early to watch her, by the way. But now he's back and he does <laughs> amazing music. His name is, actually she let him introduce himself. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Karibu Kenya. Should I say Karibu Kenya? This is your home. Yeah, this is my home. I feel so glad and so happy to be back at home. Uh, you've been in the States since 2018. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Embassy <laughs> too. Tunanza water. Nah, you Go get her or like <laughs> diamond. <laughs> oh, I'm lying. <laughs> Where's your accent? I couldn't um, accent. I think in Ategemea, it, it depends with where you, you're raised or, right. or, or the life you've been living. Okay. So for me, accent is not something that I really want to like borrow. Okay. And in reality, our accent is better than their accent. Oh, really? Yeah, they feel each and every time you talk to a white person in the U.S., they're like, I like your English. Oh, wow. You have a good English because nice. their, theirs is not English. Okay. Theirs is, um, how do you call it? It's an imitation of English because there's so much of dirty okay. words. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, you relocated mm -hmm. to the States. Yes. Um, where exactly do you stay? I stay in Arizona. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, was this because of music or you was just trying to find new space for you to exist in? Um, I had done a lot. Mm. And I was like, time has come when I need to relocate. You know, get out of my comfort zone and see what is out there for me. All right. Isn't that a big risk? Just waking up one day and going to begin a life in a completely yeah. different continent. Did you even have people there who like gave you a space to stay for a while before you set foot in the space or you just went in for the dive? What, what happened was the first time I went to the States, I went because of uh, music. And uh, I do, I'm an activist on ending gender-based violence towards women and girls. So that's very key. It's, I play a very big role in it. Mm. So when I went to the States, I went for a conference and then came back. And then my friend, my, my classmate in fact, was like, what are you doing in Kenya? You've come to the state, you've gone back, can you just come back and you know, look for a better life? And then I told them like, no. That was like in 2015. Mm. I told them, no, I, I feel Kenya is good. And then hustle, kawaida, hustle, kawaida, hustle, kawaida, hustle, kawaida. No, it got it go to a point where I said, no, I a big job with NGOs. I, I'm an NGO guy, so I've been in so many NGOs, and then decided to do an MC work. I became a club MC for like five years. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Which club is this? Uh, most of them are in Nyanza ah, and like okay. Kisi, okay. Homa Bay, Migori. Okay. Now you have Mbarambamba. <laughs> <laughs> he has taken over your job. He's doing the most. <laughs> Someone said Emberam Bamba is not, is, is, a, is Nimchavi. Zero to one hundred. Nimtu alisema. I did not see that coming. Nimtu alisema. You did not hear it here, by the way. So, but Emberam Bamba is talented. He's a good guy. Ana jo masoma salt mingi sana, which is very good. Alright. He has his own way of catching the crowd. Alright. So, na mbola. Are you okay with his way of doing it, or do you think it's to the extremes too? Regardless of what you do, I just want Trust people me, to know me. Kama hange kwa na panda juamti, mm. kama hange kwa na rukia ngombe, mm. we wouldn't have known him. So is it people to know you or to know you for something great? He was looking for attention. Okay. He got it. Okay. Si diamond pia na pinta for attention. Akijeri buku wengi. So it's attention. 
Mimi if I need attention sasa hivi naweza ngatotoa hata mimi hapa nguo nikimbia mbio. Uko sure. Uko <laughs> sure. But now going back to remember namba he's a good guy. Ni venye tu anafaangalia nini anafanya. Kuna limits, there are limits that you don't. Yeah, there are limits you don't do and especially when you are like a gospel artist, there are limits. All right. Yeah, even me there are some things I cannot do because of the community. Okay. Now you did some music here before you went all the way back to states where you've also done music. Yes. How do you think the industry there and here is what do you think they're doing that probably back at home mm. we're not doing and maybe that's why artists from these other different places are really popping and really making the most financially out of their craft and music um what i know mm. is that getting opportunities in kenya is hard getting to a producer it's hard you have to work hard and that's a lot of a lot of good artists are suffering because paying studio you know studio time see is it's very hard to pay studio time and it takes a lot to get to a producer to produce your song and give you that song yeah at times you get you you know your kitambo mtsare is 8 to 10k in the, in the studio record ngoma it's a lot it's a lot of money but us uzuria us is that there's job for everyone as in there's work for everyone. If someone is not working, then that person is vivo. So for studio time over there, is it, are you trying to say it's cheaper or there are people who are ready no, to put in money, the money? You'll get money to go to the studio. Okay. So you can pay your studio time easily. Easily. Okay, not okay. like Kenya. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And okay, then you whenever you, like if the producers like your, your style, You'll just get them calling you for for now recordings. Okay. They give you good deals. All right. Yeah, and me, my deals are both Kenya and US. Yeah. Because I do my producers here do my tracks. I record over there and then send my vocals here, mm. and then they do mixing and mastering. All right. Because also, this is one thing people need to know: our African producers have the best touch, and the, the best. Touch. Yes. The, the sound is so nice right. that uh, the US guys don't know. They don't know our style. All right. So if you go there, they will tell you to do hip hop because right. hip hop is their style. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you've done a collaboration with Saru, mm -hmm. one of the fastest rising rappers that we have in Kenya. She's incredible. She's a very, so good. A very good How lady. did you land on that collaboration? And why Saru? Uh, I've been following Saru's step. The way she came in the game, how fast you know she's gotten to where she is and it's because of her attitude towards the game and her music mm. so i was like why can't i try and mm. get to saru mm. and then mzazi william tuva is a good friend so he was like you want to do a collab with saru yeah i have her number let me hook you guys up when i talk to her hakulete maringo hakulete maringo she was like, yeah, nitumie track, nisikie, alafu, nitakupatia feedback. Kidogo, nika mtumie track, yo siku nili mtumie track, haka sema, let's do it. Wow. Ali sema tu, let's do it. Na ika back in your evil. All right. Yeah. And also you have some of the collaborations that you're doing from back in Arizona. Yeah, I've done a song with a Nigerian guy. Who is this Nigerian guy? He's called Kosi. And then I've done another song with a South African guy called Moabi. Moabi is one of one of the like he's in, right. in the top list in in south africa there's this whole vibe now we are all in this i'm a piano vibe uh -huh. there was a time we were mm -hmm. all like in the whole yes. nigerian yes. afrobeat yes. we still are that's why people like um davido obio yeah they're doing are good popping. Mm -hmm. but right now we are we sold a yo everyone hello. wants everyone you know? so their dance that, style their energies yes. So is that something I can feel when I listen to your collaboration with the South African artist? For him, yes. he looked for me because he wanted something different. Oh, really? So he wanted to get the Afro vibe. He uh -huh. wanted to have a taste of, you know, the Kenyan, mm. Uganda, mm. Tanzania mm. touch. Mm. And then he came with his own vibe. Mm. And then when we blended, it's a great song. Wow. It's a great song. You'll dance. Mm. Yeah, whatever you're looking it's there. Utaipata. Utaipata so, you know what Firimbi? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sayu, unajua kila mtu ni Firimbi. You unajua? That's all, Nedi. 
but you know it's a, it's an amazing sound and it's slowly growing and mm -hmm. people are getting into it yeah. and i think it's beautiful to just pe see people jamming to something they might not even really understand because this is entirely south african but it's good when you see it taking a global way that's why that's why we are told even us we are told to sing kila mseta ingezekana tunayembana you see angalia kama artist wenye wako kenya wenye wanafanya wimbo na languages mother tongues zao we don't understand. Someone will sing in Kao. You don't understand Kao. Mm. But akaipatia the South African taste mm. na imbe na kikao, bado ame flow. flow. Bado yes. ame ngiandani. Mm. Bado ita hit, mm. you know? Okay. So maybe it's a plan. People should start singing more in their own I, languages. More? Right now, I've, I was an MC for some years, doing club shows, hosting shows in clubs. And I've seen, like, in, if you go, a good example is in Kisi. Kisi, you go to their clubs, nowadays they will play 70% of their own songs. 30% okay. watachanganya. 70%. Labda ngoma imetoka isa edingine iko ime hit sana. Alright. You see? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, genge to nilifanya uzuri kwa sababu ilikuja katupatia at least kajina ika maliza the West African style sound. But now, where do you think the whole genge tone No, genge tone now. As of now. No, as, as of now. Mm -hmm. It has made the, the like it has portrayed our 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 songs to be vulgar, mm. and that's where the problem comes in. Mm -hmm. We had people who were singing vulgar, mm -hmm. manyake, you know oh, those so days. Yes, those days. Mm. But they never talked about it, like called the spoon a spoon at that time. They used to look for good names, you know. To call it. Yeah. They used to sugarcoat it. Yes, you sugarcoat it. With Genge Tony, it became so direct. Yes, and again. So maybe, do you think that's why it has taken a dip in a way? Because now it's not as popular as it used to be. There was a time when it was what we were. That's <laughs> why know. people are fighting them. That's the reason why people are fighting them. Because mm -hmm. small kids. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm a community guy. Mm. I do most of my work has been community mm. but when you go to a community where you hear a small kid calling some names and you're like where did you hear that mm. and then that's a future that we need to you know secure in that kid don't worry Ezekiel Mutua does that for us <laughs> every single day yeah. you don't even have to do it mm -hmm. <laughs> all right and uh, you're very passionate about gender-based yes. violence and yes. all that as a movement mm -hmm. why is that so passionate for you uh, because in 2014 I saw a girl dying she was taken to Tanzania to get circumcised because she was pregnant. So in the Maasai community, they believe that a kid cannot give birth to a kid. Mm -hmm. So she was taken to Tanzania to get circumcised. And then when she was being brought back, mm -hmm. she bled to death. Oh, no. And the worst part was she bled to death when we had just rescued her, taking her to the hospital. Oh, no. So she, she died. The kid in the stomach died. Oh, no. So we lost two people. Two people. Two so people. since that time, I said, like, no, I need to do something to make sure that the voices of these innocent kids are heard. And that's how I started being a champion on ending gender-based violence towards mm. women. Are you and receiving enough support from fellow men? Uh, we have a challenge with men, mm -hmm. but we, things are changing. Men, are now men have now started coming out, like mm. Tony Mwebia. Mm one great activist mm. so we hope the only problem is women are now seeing as if we are taking their space oh really yeah i think we want more men because we feel like the conversation makes sense when everyone is involved no women are saying it is us it is happening in us why are you coming in oh, no. yeah so and that's the only challenge that that's we're having happen. yeah all right so if you talk to fellow ladies please tell them let us talk on your behalf okay not on our behalf with us mm. oh with talk you with us. yeah because yes. you are our wives our children our, our children our sisters uh, you know yes. our mothers all right yeah so when people want to follow you and follow your work and see your music and also be part of your foundation how do they get to reach you um sunny foreman on every platform okay every platform right. some sunny foreman mm -hmm. and then we have a small ngo called okay. network of youths in action mm. uh, working in Kajiado County. Okay. Yes. All right. So, for how long are you going to be in Kenya? What are you I'm looking here. most forward to? Now we have a cafe until 10 p.m. So you might not really go to the clubs that you used to go anymore. Mm -hmm. We have forgotten what it's like to club. Mm -hmm. So, what are you looking forward to doing in your three weeks here? Uh, 
I have uh, like charity drives that I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Like yesterday, I was giving 150 sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, doing videos and doing music. That's it. All right. And enjoying life in Kenya. You know. okay. Home. All home, right. home kuna freedom. So as we wrap up, of course, this was the big team. I'm wearing a Chelsea jersey. I'm a Manchester person. Ah, so get out of right here. Mm. You I, guys I, nowadays I, are... You're not feeling anything. It's Why? okay. It's can you okay. just clap for Chelsea and be it's proud okay. of who they are? No, we are good people. We can clap. But mm. just remember, there's, it's the beginning of good stuff. Ah, please. Nowadays, Manchester. Mm? Why? Thank God I'm an Arsenal babe. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> having... no, because I'm celebrating Chelsea. Ah. Us, we're nice people. We love seeing other people win mm -hmm. because next season it's us. You know, you'll keep on saying, if it wasn't <laughs> for that person, the goal would have gone there. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. We've come to the end of the show. Um, see you later in the week with so much more. Be sure to su support Foreman in all that he's doing when it comes to music and all his activities besides music. We mm -hmm. need more men like him to stand up and champion for the rights of women and the girl child in general. Enjoy yourself. Have a fantastic remaining part of your week. See you later. Bye-bye.